Hello everyone. This video provides a high level overview about scheme certification for new issuers. In this video, we will look at what is certification and various different certification processes with respect to cards and transaction process. Before we look into the certification process as is, let's say a new bank or a fintech company would like to launch cards and transaction processing. These are the different features and functionalities that the new issuers would implement like new application processing, onboarding, uh, the core receivables platform and rewards platform, communications, uh, customer management, collections, etc. Apart from this, the issuer would also worry about issuing the plastics, that is the card management platform, the authorization interface where it receives transactions from the scheme and process it and then the final clearing and settlement processes. If you look at all of this, the last vertical block with respect to the cards, authorizations and clearing and settlement is where the, the issuers interact with the schemes. So the issuers have to work with schemes, integrate their platforms with the schemes and comply to the scheme standards. So what is scheme certification, right? So each schemes have certain standards standards with respect to their brands so they have their own brand guidelines how their logo should look how it should be on the physical plastic or the virtual plastic and they also have a lot of standards and methods with respect to card issuance and transaction processing what that means is how the cards should be issued what is the type of application that should be put on the card how should the card look and how the transactions would be received by the issuer from the schemes what is the format and what is the protocol that would be used and also after the transactions is received how would the transactions be settled to the issuer so there are a lot of brand guidelines and standards and protocols involved so certification process ensures that a new issuer and in that for that matter of fact any member it could be an issuing member or an acquiring member adheres and confirms to those specifications set up by the scheme. So this process is called as certification. So certification is the process where the schemes like Visa, Mastercard, Rupee certify that a new member is adhering to their standards for the products that the new issuers or members would like to launch and they are good to go from a live product launch. So this process of testing is called as certification. I am just using the word testing because usually in uh, certification process testing is the major leg where the schemes test the product and then certify the issuer. So I have covered this particular presentation in two, two parts. First is the card certification and second is the transaction certification. First let us look into the card certification. Again before we look into the certification of cards, let us look at the various elements that is involved in the card as such. First, the card design as such. What I mean here is the image that is put on the card, the logo of the bank, where it is placed and also the type of card and the brand that is put on the card itself. This is finalized by the issuer. Each issuer uh, has some flexibility to decide what is the image that is to be put on, what is where the bank logo has to be put on and where the type of product has to be put. However, the issuers have to adhere to some kind of brand guidelines set by the scheme. The second important entity is the card manufacturer. The first one we saw is the card issuer. The second one is the card manufacturer. The card manufacturer here is responsible of actually printing the plastic and then embedding the chip inside the plastic Whenever we talk about the chip, in case of a contact card, we have a chip, whereas in case of a contactless card, there will also be an anta and antenna, whereas in case of a dual interface chip, which has both contact and contactless, the card manufacturer is responsible to put both those hardware elements. Apart from the hardware elements, the card manufacturer is also responsible to put the appropriate OS and also the application. That is in case of a Visa card, then the VSDC application or MasterCard, then it is M-Chip application. So the manufacturer is responsible to put that application onto the chip and finally put the personalization data onto the chip, which is given by the issuer again. 
So as I mentioned, the personalization data is what is supplied by the issuer. So what is personalization data? That is customizing the plastic to that particular individual, which is the name, the card number, the expiry date that you see physically on the plastic, including CVC2, and also what data goes inside the chip, like the limits, the offline limits, the CVM methods, etc. If you are not sure of what is the personalization data, I would recommend you to go through my EMV series the link for which might appear as I speak. So first, let's look at the card generation process and the various certification methods or processes involved with this. The first step is the issuer has to finalize the card design and get it approved from the schemes. So this is the first step where the issuer has to adhere to the brand guidelines of the scheme. Finalize the card design and get it approved. So this is one first initial step of the certification processes. And the issuer would provide this card design to the card manufacturer. So the card manufacturer takes this design and actually puts it on the plastic. Apart from that, the issuer has also to finalize the card type. Like as I said, it is a contact card or a contactless card or a, or a contact plus contactless card like dual interface. And the issuer has to also finalize the personalization data. So on an ongoing basis, issuer and card manufacturer have day on day file exchanges with respect to the cards that are to be printed. The third thing is where the card manufacturer has to generate the card keys. Uh, there's a big key ceremony that happens between the issuer, the scheme and the card manufacturer where they finalize on the card keys and then apart from it, put the personalization data onto the chip. So these two processes, that is two and three, do not necessarily have a certification process involved. In the fourth step is where there is a certification process that is involved. Once the issuer gets the cards from the card manufacturer, then the issuer will do a round of personalization testing themselves, where the scheme is not usually involved. This is to ensure if all the personalization data is properly embedded on the chip, and then is the chip working fine or not. Before they submit the actual plastic to the scheme to get it certified, the issuers do a round of pre-validation testing themselves to ensure the card is fine. Next, they provide this text plastics to the schemes who in turn would do a final certification round of testing. So this is more of a validation testing. So this becomes a certification testing for the cards itself. So these are the two major certification processes involved with respect to card process. First one is in the first step where the card design is approved by the schemes. And in the last step, the plastics are submitted to the schemes to ensure that the cards adhere to the standards set by schemes. I'm not given all the personalization validation tools, but some important tools that are available in the market. So these tools from UL Barnes, FIME, etc. Uh, help do the card personalization testing. Each scheme uh, have also on their websites published their partners who can also do the personalization testing and the certified tools as well. So this concludes the card personalization testing or certification process where the design is approved and then also the card is approved. The next set is the transaction processing or the authorization certification. Before we look into that aspect of certification for transaction processing, let's look at the issuer host system. I'm using this word issuer host system consciously because schemes usually refer to this word which refers to the issuer's actual authorization processing platform. So we all know that the transaction gets initiated from the schemes, Visa, MasterCard, Rupee, and then the transactions are routed to a router device provided by the schemes, which in turn forwards the authorizations to the issuer's transaction switch. The issuer transaction switch should support all the type of authorization messages, um, and then should parse the messages, should do key management, should be able to parse EMV data, etc., and then respond back to the schemes in the manner it received. And the issuer host system should also be able to process the clearing and parameter files that it receives from the scheme and then use it in the authorization processing and also for settlement purposes. So the issuer host system comprises of a transaction switch which takes care of the real-time authorizations and also should be able to manage the clearing file interface from the schemes. So the certification process for authorization proce processing ensures if the issuer's host system is able to receive and process the real-time transactions and also manage the clearing aspects of it. 
let's look at it in detail so what happens first is the moment the issuer sets up their own transaction switch they do a round of pre certification themselves how do they do it so the issuer submits some kind of questionnaire and form to the schemes where the form actually contains what type of products would the issuer wants to launch like is it a debit product is it a credit product or a prepaid pro product etc and basis the products they select and the type of card they are issuing the schemes would provide them a test plan the test plan usually consists of the relevant transactions that the scheme expects the issuer to support to so the issuer then can trigger all those different type of transactions just to recollect what are the different type of transactions is a transaction switch able to make proper connectivity with the schemes and then uh, there would be transactions pertaining to max stripe emb contact and contactless are they able to process administrative messages or are, are they able to process authorization mes messages refund messages etc and then different type of transaction messages right like cash transactions e-commerce transactions etc so this pre certification is where the scheme is not involved directly the the testing is done directly by the issuer themselves using some authorization simulator so after doing a round of this testing it can be done with the test plastic or with the test plastic then there is a separate online certification testing which the scheme themselves perform by connecting to the issuer's host system in this testing the schemes trigger the all the transactions that are given in the test plan directly to the transaction switch and then schemes uh, certify if the issuer is able to successfully process all these transactions so these two steps are involved in the issuer host system testing first one is the pre certification where the issuers do the testing themselves and sometimes submit the logs to the schemes and the second one is an online certification testing where the schemes themselves submit the transactions directly to the transaction switch what all i have spoke here is more from a real time transaction perspective but there could be a round of clearing files also that are being sent to the issuer and then gets processed by the transaction switch or the clearing system of the issuer so what are the important testing tools is uh, for mastercard we have ma simulator mcps for for clearing mdfs for financial transactions and for visa it's visa test system so these are the 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 first two bullet points of mastercard and visa provide the simulators that are given by the schemes themselves uh, there are other simulators that are available in the market i've just chosen and given to uh, where i've worked on which is finsim and fastest these simulators are um, products from different companies which also help you do the authorization testing thanks for watching the video hope you learned something new from it Please do like the video if you learned something new from it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.